it's India from at DramaDBC for K-pop stars the K-drama morning after and today we'll only be with each other for a short period of time because we're going to be talking about a short drama that just started on KBS2 called Page Turner. This is a three episode drama so instead of going through an emotional roller coaster twice a week for three months we'll only need to suffer once a week for three weeks and for that I say to the drama gods thank you. Page Turner is about three high school students. Yoon Yoo Sol, a piano prodigy who is pushed way too hard by her mom to be the best piano player while at a prestigious art school. Because we all know parents living their dreams through their children without actually considering if their child is interested in what they're pushing them to do always turns out well. I seriously hope that these parents in these high school dramas have some type of fun they set up for their children's therapy that they'll need later on because trust me, they will need it. So Jin Mok, who is Yusou's class rival who doesn't have the natural talent she does because he likes emotion or the ability to connect to the music. And Jung Cha Sik, basically a jock who goes to a completely different school. Each of these students suffers some trauma that forces them to reconsider their future paths. For Yusou, it's blindness from an accident. Jin Mok suffers from guilt by believing he caused the accident. And Cha Sik suffered a particular trauma that as a woman, I can't necessarily relate to but it definitely meant no more pole vaulting for him. Normally I stay away from mini dramas or drama specials, but I had to tune into this one. Not only is it written by Park Hae Ryun, who gave us Dream High, I Can Hear Your Voice, and Pinocchio, but it stars some up and coming stars. Kim So Han, Jisoo, and Shin Ji Ha. I appreciate the mini sassy go-go reunion and the fact that Jisoo doesn't look like a sad puppy who messed with the wrong porcupine and has quills all in his mouth, because that's what he always looks like. So far I really like this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a must watch. It deals with some dark themes, but some how manages to surprise us with humor. I question some things like this whole story Cha Sheik's mother told him about who his father is. There's something fishy about that one. Of course, this show explores a concept that we all have to realize in life. We are not what people say we are, we are not what people have forced us to become, and we are allowed to change. These kids are having to question their entire identity because the one thing they were sure of is now taken away from them. It's the same feeling you get when a drama you really liked finally ends and it's the first week you don't have that drama to watch. You just kind of feel lost in the wilderness. You don't know where to turn. You feel like life has let you down because you no longer have a drama to run to. What? What happened? I'm really excited to see where the show goes and I'm particularly excited to see what romance, if any, will develop between Kim So Hun and Jisoo's characters seeing that they'll be spending a lot of time together in the upcoming episodes. I need Jisoo to finally get the girl. Just. I need that to happen. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Paige Turner so far. Make sure to like and subscribe to K-Pop Stars so you can watch a new episode of the K-Drama Morning After every Thursday and also make sure to leave a comment. Your comment may end up in next week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.